All right, everyone. Here we go with a, well, this is a random reading. It really is. I didn't know why I was here until I did the pre-shuffle. I had no idea. Well, I do now. Uh, we're going to have a talk about water, in fact. And I'm going to teach you something. And I'm going to show you a little something about a card that you don't usually find out about about that card. Or it's never really looked at that way anyway. That said, it's an all signs reading. It's just straight up energy reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is, whether you're a raccoon, a chipmunk, human being, whale, beaver, doesn't matter. You're supposed to be here. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if you're t but if the, the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, uh, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Um, let's have a chat about this uh, pre-shuffle here. I want you to remember it's really weird. The energy, the energy this morning was strange. I hadn't planned doing a, a big reading this morning. I was going to kind of chill out. So much for that. Um, pay attention to what I said the other day in the full moon reading. That, that energy is in play. Very strong today, in fact. You know, the first day after that full moon in Capricorn, the, the strongest super moon of the damn year. <laughs> pay close, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, wow. Pay close attention to that reading. That said here, my pre-shuffle, I got a six of wands crossed by Fakey McFakerman, the queen of wands. Okay, now that, that should be obvious. Somebody's getting in the way of their own victory by not being honest with themselves. Fakey McFakerman here is just that. They put out a, a pretense, the queen of the cover story, male or female, right? Somebody lying to themselves, lying to the people around them, maybe about being happy, whatever. You know, the usual shit. It's a, very, it's a pretty clear message here with the Queen of Wands crossing the Six of Wands. It's someone whose heart chakra is open. They're in their fields, primarily in big, big part because of this moon, of course, uh, as I talked about in yesterday's moon reading. But they're getting in their own way. They're getting in the way of victory here. Okay, Here's the card that's important. And it comes right after this. It's the Ace of Cups. Let's talk about the Ace of Cups. Everyone likes it when they get the Ace of Cups. This is a very strange combination of cards for me to get. That's crossing that. I'm going to lay it out on the table so it makes sense. And by the way, just I'll keep going. The Empress, you. It's all about you and uh, how someone sees your value or what they, or the King of Pentacles, what they value, right? And someone wants a second chance, judgment with you because they feel like it might be over, the Ten of Swords. They don't want it to be over, okay? Now, these aren't clarifiers, but the position matters, all right? They don't want, they feel, this, they feel the loss of you. And they're getting in their own way because of bullshit, or have been. And they want a second chance, right? They want, they want what's in this cup. Here's the problem. And here's Archangel Michael, Sword of Truth, right? Sword of Truth. They, they've had an epiphany here. I'm about to give an epiphany right now because this is the most powerful energy on the table. Normally, I'd say it's this. It, it is. It's all about you. Yeah, they've been denying their love for you and, and getting in the way of victory here, even though their heart chakra is open and the energy around them is transformed. The butterfly, the green butterfly represents all of that. But they've been fakey McFakerman about you primarily, which is why we're sitting in 10 swords energy and why the universe is trying to facilitate change here. Okay? Uh, this person has a false false, fakey McBakerman, stability on their side. They live life by the pentacles instead of the cups. We've talked about that. Now, the strongest energy on the table is this Ace of Cups. And when I, and when I first saw that, when I looked through the pre-shuffle before I hit record, it blew my fucking mind. Let's talk about the Ace of Cups. Why do you think in a lot of decks, uh, not necessarily this one, but in a lot of decks, the Ace of Cups is overflowing? It has flowing water coming out of it. Because water needs to flow. Water, emotion, only, we'll call emotion water, okay? We're just going to use the word water here. Water only has value if it's, if it's given. In other words, if you drink it or you give it to somebody else. Right, imagine somebody, you're in front of somebody, you're holding a jug of water, and they're dehydrated. They just came out of the desert, right? They're all messed up. If you don't give them the water, they're not going to get any refreshment. They aren't going to they aren't going to get quenched. They're just going to sit there and die because they don't because they're dehydrated to death. Water needs to flow. Emotion needs to flow. If it doesn't, if you grew up in the country like I did, you know something about still water. 
still water. There's a lot of water where I grew up in, in flowing brooks and streams and things like that that you can drink. It's, it's, it's delicious. It's the best water you'll ever drink. Dip a cup in and drink it. But you never want to drink out of still water, and everybody's father teaches them that, especially if their kids go walking through the woods. You never want to drink out of water that's been sitting just still. Why? Because it becomes toxic. And right here, what I have is a toxic Ace of Cups. And it reads like that quite a bit. The Ace of Cups has the potential to become toxic if it's not given. And we know it's not given because of fakey McFakerman here. Okay? Your person over in the clarity, in the placid energy of this full moon, as we talked about in yesterday's full moon reading, emotionally inside they become toxic because they've let this sit. They've let it sit and sit and sit without giving it. And the water has picked up microbes and all kinds of bullshit like that. How that translates into 3D is probably what we see when we pull on like a third party situation. Uh, if you imagine you're in a relationship with somebody, right, just for the sake of argument, and you don't love them anymore, but yet there's somebody else that you do love. Maybe it's an empress, the queen of tits, or the best looking tree in the deck, one or the other. And you, but you don't give it. You don't share it. You hold on to that. Well, that translates into 3D as a lot of lashing out at the person you're with that you don't have those feelings for because the love that you feel inside, the emotion, has become toxic. The Ace of Cups is overflowing on most decks because energy, emotion, energy, emotional energy, water, needs to flow or it becomes toxic. And that's what's happened here. We have a ver we have still water. And that could be the title for this reading, still water. I've got someone who did this to themselves, right here, this Ten Swords. And now it's time for the energy to flow. We've been seeing, we don't have it here, but we've been seeing the Queen of Cups a lot, you know. And the Queen of Cups gives the full cup. It's time for this energy to flow. So I had to do that here for the pre-shuffle because you, that's the basis of why I'm here. That's the basis of this reading, is this still water and what happens when it becomes toxic. When it beca it, it, the very thing, the very thing that where all the magic of life exists in emotion, in giving and sharing of emotion, right? Giving and receiving, becomes the very thing that can harm you if it's left sitting too long. And that is your person right now. That's a lot of the devil energy that we pick up around them. It's less about their relationship on their side and more about what's happened and what happens to you in the 3D if you drink still water. Water, it, we need it for life. It, it makes up about 60% of our body, give or take. Okay, we need to drink water. And it's fine, it's, it's a giver of life. But if you drink still water, it's the taker of life. And any doctor or nurse will tell you that. The microbes that, that, that develop in there are, are toxic. You go into toxic shock very quickly. And that's what's happening here. I got a bit of toxic shock because the Ace of Cups has been left sitting too long. That's why I always say the Queen of Cups is the most powerful love card, emotion card that I could pull. I always say that when the Queen of Cups comes out. Why? Well, because the Queen of Cups, she holds the Ace of Cups, but she gives the full cup. That's far more powerful than the Ace of Cups by itself. The Ace of Cups by itself, if left ungiven, can become very toxic, right? And there's a lot of obsession that's happening right now within your person. There's a lot of thinking about you. Look, you showed up. You were the Empress right there next to it, right? And it's all that bullshit. It's caused the love within them to become toxic. It's turning on them, which is probably what's going to bring them towards you and is probably why they keep coming up in the readings as showing up under Three Swords energy. Right? Three of swords, three swords through the heart. Ten swords here. They're showing up to you for a second chance under ten swords energy. It's, it's, it's duress in a lot of ways. But I'm telling you why. Because the Ace of Cups isn't the wonderful card that it's often read as. It depends on the context, what cards are around it. What I've got here with Fakey McFakerman crossing victory and an Ace of Cups and you sitting next to it, the Empress, is I've got still water. 
and it's it's not something it's something that needs to flow it's going to need to flow out of this person it's the epitome of if someone wants to run from you or leave you let them go they'll regret it yeah they will because all that love won't be given and if they don't have anyone to give it to on their side or it's just going to build up it's going to build up as toxin that is a toxic ace of cups that was on the table right there in front of you a minute ago i'm shuffling i am give me the soul you tell me why i'm here universe give me a reading okay let's go this first card out is before the cut it's why the fuck are we here and this does not surprise me remember what i told you about Stillwater. and if you're one of my fast forwarders wait till cards hit the table or whatever rewind your ass because it's very important to understand for you too it's a lesson for you I, i'm here to teach you guys about energy do not keep it bottled up i always tell you tell people how you feel you have to or it becomes still water this is what this is your cautionary tale from your person do not ever be like that they are not well that is not what i threw on the table right there is not someone who's doing good the whole story ended with ten swords that water, that still water will kill you. It will. It'll, it'll kill your soul for sure. Four of cups is why we're here. Disappointment. Still water. Right? Uh, refused. Stop the flow of water. They damned it up. No thank you. I'm not interested. I'm going to run. Bye. I'm happy with what I got on my side. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm reading still water here. So why we're here is the four of cups. Somebody's in four cups. And that's funny because that was the energy around your connection in the moon reading yesterday. In the full moon in Capricorn reading, as I recall. Now, I do think an offer's coming your way. I stand, I stand by that reading 100%. But this is more information for you. This is now after the moon. This is now we're getting to see. We're not asking the universe to predict. We're asking the universe to tell us what the fuck's going on. And that still water is starting to make them make their stomach hurt. Okay, we'll put it that's the first thing that happens when you drink out of still water. When you drink it and it's got toxin in it, is your stomach hurts. And that stomach is hurting big time. It's the world come after that. Yeah, they're coming your way. They have to. If they don't, it's ten swords. They're never gonna forget you. You did a lot for this person and they and they and they fucking ran from you. That pisses me off, actually. This this whole cycle pisses me off. So I swear so much. Fucking does. Here's the world, the most powerful card I could pull from the deck. A cycle. Someone wants to bring a cycle of disappointment, that four of cups, to an end. The energy is already there. It's ended. They can't their stomach can't take much more. That's still water. You're reflecting very strong. You the Empress came out after it. Okay? They can't take much more of it. And this is why. I mean, all the forces of the universe are like, let's go. This needs to go to a fool. This need, they need to make a move here. They need to do something. Give the love. Say thanks. If nothing else, just tell someone about you. And, and, and let it all out. The energy has to flow. Otherwise, we get ten swords. And they don't want ten swords with the Empress. That came up in the pre-shuffle too. The ten swords was red with the Empress. Let's go. Let's shuffle the deck. One last time. Tell us all why we're here, universe. <laughs> uh, like Mr. Rourke on the old Fantasy Island. At the beginning of the show, he used to tell everybody why they were there. Well, that's kind of what I'm picturing in my head right now. Let's see if universe listens here. The universe is going to be Mr. Rourke. It's going to tell us all why we're here. <laughs> Let's see where we go. All right. Give me a reading, universe. You ready? I'm ready because I'm done shuffling. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. This is going to be a powerful reading. Get comfortable. Get your pants off if you need to. Whatever. Here it is. It's the High Priestess. Overall energy of the whole reading. What's crossing the High Well, we all know what this card is, right? It's secrets. It's things we push down. Things we keep. Again, this becomes toxic too. If it's not allowed to flow. This is about, you can't keep the soul down. Okay? You can't. It translates into 3D as misery if you do. This needs to flow as well. This is emotion. All the soul is is emotion. That's it. It needs to flow. When you push it down, you become bitter, you become depressed, you become anxious, you lash out, you run from empresses. What's crossing this? The Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. They've been keeping it pressed down, but slowly but surely it's coming out. And I think this moon has a lot to do with it. This is a steady 
reliable energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Very reliable. He gets there slowly. It's the second slowest energy in the tarot. He gets there slowly. Slowly but surely, somebody's learning a lesson not to drink out of still water. Where I grew up, the kids learned that the hard way. <laughs> you don't get it slowly but surely. You drink out of it once and you go, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> as, you, as you spend eight hours straight puking it all up. I'll tell you what. That's what's kind of happening right now. I talk, I joke about that sometimes, about the, the high priestess, the girl at the party, and you got to hold her hair while she's throwing up in a corner. That's kind of what's happening here. All right, let's see where we go. Uh, also, there's an energy around this where your person is slowly but surely learning that pentacles uh, don't hold water. All right, pentacles, it's that, it's that line from that, from that old Jackson Brown song, The, the, the Pretender, right? Where, that, that, where we believe in the things that money can buy and true love could have been a contender. It's the people who give up, who, who, who just take the, take the, do what they're supposed to do rather than what, they, what, what their soul's true purpose is. This is somebody who's learning that their soul's true purpose isn't pentacles. I don't think anybody's is, to be honest. The reading's on the flip. Let's see where we go. Remember, still water, very bad. Water needs to flow. Emotion needs to flow. To use this person as a cautionary tale and always tell people how you feel. Always make sure that water doesn't sit too long in that Ace of Cups. Or it does become as toxic as any devil you'll pull from the deck. And that's what we got here. That Ace of Cups was basically a devil. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person feels in the 3D, in their body, how they're behaving and feeling. All right? Right here is the soul energy with the universe. Uh, it could be uh, how they feel about you and the soul, or it could just be the condition of the soul. It, it varies. In a reading like this, it's probably soul condition. Right here is the hidden energy. What the universe wants to tell you, I'll tell you what she says. It's read with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I can't predict free will. But I can tell you with 100% certainty that this person regrets not coming towards you, and their, their own emotions have become toxic within them which will drive them your way, I imagine, but it'll drive them your way in much what the, what the moon reading yesterday told us in a five of swords, half-assed, self-sabotage kind of way, right? Or at the very least in a three of swords energy, which that moon reading also showed us. All right, so let's go. You ready? Let's do it. Uh, I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end. Uh, you can almost bet your sweet asses there'll be a link for an extended. This is... An unplanned reading, and it's it's got a powerful message. That that a toxic ace of cups is dangerous. All right, it can go it, it can go at any time. Energy around the connection, Knight of Swords. It's an urge to come towards you, and an urge to fly away at the same time. It's an in and out energy, believe it or not. Usually, this is a unidirectional energy that's coming right at you. In this case here, when it falls in the energy of the connection, the energy's moving faster than your person is, and that's that's part of that world card that came out after the four of cups. They're still sitting. The toxic energy is still sitting in that ace of cups, right? They're, they're still taking. Well, we know. Right? That's part of what the Knight of Pentacles is telling us, the second slowest energy in the deck. This is the universe saying, yeah, it's coming up to the surface, but they're moving too slow. The, and this is why. This is why. This is why this is here, in part. The energy of the connection itself is moving very fast. Your person's moving very slow. It's a bit like tying them to the back of your truck and dragging them down the road. They can't keep up. They run for a little bit, but as soon as you go faster than 5 or 10 miles an hour, they fall on the ground and just get dragged. That's kind of what's happening here. That's the toxin of that Ace of Cups. You let the water sit too long. How do they feel in their emotions? How, how are they behaving in the 3D here, right here? See? Come on. Come on! Why am I your second favorite energy reader? They know they have to give it. They, they can't hold on to the Ace of Cups. Well, I already told you, I said, when I pull the Queen of Cups, I always, it's the Queen of Cups. I always tell you it's the most powerful love card that I can pull. Why? Because she holds the Ace of Cups, but she gives it. And look where she's pointing. She's pointing in the same direction this, this Knight of Swords is flying. The energy is, is, the Ace of Cups has become too toxic. It's, it's not just still water anymore. You can actually look at it and know you shouldn't drink it, right? Sometimes still water looks pretty good. It looks pretty clear. It, that's where it's deceiving. That's why a lot of kids drink it. <laughs> they, oh, I have a sip of this. I'll fill my canteen. Yeah, don't do that. 
you know. In this case here, it's become too toxic. It, it, the energy itself wants to flow. Your, it's your person because it's become toxic within them in the 3D that's fighting it a little bit. The energy is moving towards this. Your person knows they, that they need to do something. Okay. I suspect in their external world they're a bit grumpy. They might be lashing out at people. Usually when the energy gets like this, that's, that's what happens. However, I will say it's a lot of love with the Queen of Cups falling here. That's massive. Okay, and, But we know that anyway. In yesterday's moon reading, we got the Three of Swords here. And an equal and opposite reaction, the Three of Swords tells us how much love is there. Well, this is just showing us the other side. And talking about that toxic Ace of Cups. Uh, soul. Let's talk about the soul. What's going on? It's bookending the Knight of Swords. See? Seven of Pentacles. Sitting on hands. The soul, this, this person is putting, again, the energy, the energy is flowing like crazy. Your person's being dragged behind it. And the reason is they're going too slow is because that toxic, that Ace of Cups has become toxic. They held on to it too long. Trying to get rid of you, trying to fakey McFakerman their way into a happy life. If you, you know, those stupid people that teach you that if you just smile, it'll, it'll eventually be okay. Right? That's the worst advice you could ever give anybody. That's not how energy works at all. If you just smile, everything will be okay. No. No. That's not true. Flow with the energy and take take actions. Uh, put your intentions out to the universe. Leave voids. What, what the whole fucking gambit that I run through all the time. That's how energy works. This person's going against how energy works, and they're sitting on their hands. They're going slower, much slower, almost stopped, versus the energy, and they're getting dragged, and that toxin's starting to set in. They're getting a stomachache from drinking that still water, from letting it sit in that Ace of Cups for too long and not giving it. The urge is there for them to give it. That's what this Queen of Cups is telling me. The urge is there. They want to. I believe it. I believe it. Knowing your person, they're trying to find a clever way to... They're not going to win this battle. They can't. You can't win. They need to go have their stomach pumped. And, the only, and metaphorically speaking, the only way to do that is to come in and talk to you. Or talk to somebody about this. Okay? Hidden energy. Message from the universe. Red with the Knight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Um, the Knight of Swords has a specific message. Uh, a lot of times, though, it's... it's well all times. It's swordsy, right? It's very matter of fact, very specific. This person here, this right here, the universe is saying that cup needs to flow. It's just, it's, it's an energy match for the Queen of Cups. You see the backgrounds? So I'm showing you the energy here with light energy, but still it's the same difference. I'm showing it to you. It's an energy match here. It needs to, the universe is saying they need to do this. Otherwise that cup, that toxic ace of cups, where they hold on to is going to explode in their hand. And it, it's not going to be good, or explode inside them, if you will. It's not going to be good. It, 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 when the Ace of Cups becomes toxic, and it can if it's not allowed to flow, if it's stifled by a bunch of phony nonsense from the Queen of Wands, fakey McFakerman, oh, I don't care about the Empress, I'm happy with what I've got, all that bullshit. When it's not allowed to flow, it, 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 it will rupture. And when it ruptures, it's going to cause, it can cause depression, anxiety, it can cause an emotional breakdown. It can cause someone to lash out at people around and do all kinds of things, sabotage their whole life, quit the job, dump their spouse, do all kinds of things, and then do nothing about it because they don't really understand why they're doing all of that. People just think, people might say, well, they freaked out, you know, that kind of thing. But they didn't freak out. They just had a, bunch of, a, a whole bunch of emotion that they never shared, they never talked about, whether he's talking about it with you or talking about it with a therapist, either or. They need to talk about it. Stuff we keep bottled up becomes still water. Still water is toxic. Potential final outcome, red with the Queen of Cups, segued into from the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Remember what I just told you. Everything I just told you in the last minute and a half just got verified. <whistles> Boom. A tower. It's going to land the minute. To I'll tell you exactly. I'll put it in a sentence. If this person, the universe talking right now, if this, uh, and I'll do the universe's voice, if this person doesn't give to this and give this love, they're fucked. Okay, see that? The universe just sweared at you. She crazy, right? They're fucked. It's a tower. It's a breakdown. It's an emotional breakdown. They have to give this. 
I'm here right now doing a random reading because of the effect of this full moon in Capricorn, this super, super moon, the most powerful full moon of the year. And because I saw, you know, and I saw it a little bit yesterday with the Three of Swords falling here in that reading. I saw it. I got it with the Five of Swords that was here too. I, I, I get it. But right here it's saying that the love inside them that they hold for the Empress has become toxic. It's become, it needs to be dealt with. It needs to be drained. It needs to be given. If not, there's a tower. Now this, we'll have to see what happens when we clarify. This can go either way. This is either your person doesn't give to it and they have a breakdown or they do give to it and they show up out of nowhere in your face. I mean, literally like poof, like they snapped their finger and appeared kind of a thing. All right. Um, I was going to clarify with the light seer. I need something a little stronger. Okay. When instead of clarifying with wine, we're going to clarify with absinthe. All right. Some serious shit here. And look at this randomly at the bottom of the deck. That right there is an ace of cups that's become toxic. It's a picture of it anyway. Forget about the five cups. It's just, that's it. Look at that. Backs up everything we've been talking about. It's a very important reading. And I want to teach you guys this kind of stuff about energy. I want you to understand that uh, well, uh, emotion has no value unless it's shared, unless it's given. It has no value. Just like you holding a jug of water in front of somebody who's come out of the desert yeah, that, that jug of water has value to that person, but only if you give it to them. And it has value to you to give it to them. You get good karma. But if you just hold on to it, the water is, it, it, it just becomes a toxic thing that you're hanging over somebody's head. And, and then they don't get any water and then they explode in a tower. Okay? So it, it, it has to be given. That's why most decks have the Ace of Cups overflowing. It must flow. When it doesn't, it's still water. Just like in nature, everything is energy. So it all applies. Still water in nature is toxic. It's terrible. Do not drink it. Make sure the water is flowing before you put it in your cup. End of story. You do not want to drink it. And your persons drank a lot of it. They need their stomach pumped. If there's any nurses or doctors watching, get your stomach pump out for your person. <laughs> What's going on here with the uh, Knight of Swords? Tell me about it. What's going on here? Uh-huh. The sun. Uh, speaking, well, again, the, the, the connection is rooted in happiness. Them getting this, they have to talk. They have to talk. It will result in the energy of the connection being released. Okay, the cure for the toxin from all the... Uh, that toxic Ace of Cups, that still water Ace of Cups. The cure for it is opening up, okay? Revealing the feelings. The sun illuminates, all right? The energy is there. Your person's being, their person's dragging their feet. They're afraid to do this. I know. That's part of what toxin can do. When the, when the Ace of Cups becomes devil energy, devil energy in any form creates illusions, creates fears, right? So it, it's not going to play out literally as a stomach ache for them. It's not literally toxic still water. It's going to play out as fears and devil energy and illusion and things like that and excuses not to come in and, and dragging their feet. It, it's going to want to make itself worse. That's not good. All right, what's on top? Look at that. Five of Cups came back. Mm -hmm. Ta Again, it's the same message. Happy card, sad card. This is the affecting energy. This is what this does. It allows this to flow. It allows the energy of the connection to come out, the happiness that's there within. They'll feel much better. They need to talk about this. They need to share how they feel, truly how they feel, not just a little bit, okay? If all they ever told you was, I, I kind of like you, they're lying, all right? There's a lot more than that. Uh, this says the same thing. In order to come out of this, we need to speak, and they want to. I believe they do. I believe they want to come out. The Five of Cups is one of the cards that ends the separation phase. That's a good place to have it right there in the energy of the connection. Why is the Five of Cups here? Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to come out of this, this sadness, this pressure. Again, I, every indication tells me that they are going to share, just like what our, our moon reading said. Yep, I believe that. But... The Queen of Cups gives the full cup. I don't, uh, your person, your person, 
the energy is encouraging them to explode and give the full cup. I mean, your person's about to explode here. This is an ace of wands. It's, it's, a, it's a passionate new beginning. Somebody wants to come in from out of the scorched earth cold here. And I always say this card reminds me of a tower. You know, like a tower, just smoke coming up and all that kind of stuff. Here it is. It's right there. Final outcome. Final outcome is always tied to the energy of the connection. All readings tied to the energy of the connection. Not just the message from the universe. That's more specific because I read the two together. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me about their emotions. Their 3D energy. The urge to give, to give this is strong. The urge to puke up this still water is strong. Get it out of their system. Let's see what they do. What they've been doing is just taking some Pepto-Bismol so they feel a little better and then they continue to drink the still water. After a while, old Pepto stops working. All right? That's temporary relief. <laughs> that's, that's, not, uh, that's not a fix. What do we got here? Queen of Swords. Oh, Queen of Swords. It feels like a Queen of Swords, doesn't it? Uh, this is funny. Again, yeah, I'll show you what it is. It's the Seven of Pentacles. It matches this. This is Seven of Pentacles. This is Seven of Pentacles. Crossing the Queen of Cups. It backs up what my energy read. It backs up what I just told you. They, they, they keep taking Pepto-Bismol. There's an urge in the energy to get, for them to give. They, they know they have to say something. They know they have to share what's in that Ace of Cups. They know that the energy needs to flow. Otherwise, it, it's going to get more and more and more toxic. But they're sitting on their hands. They just keep popping the Pepto-Bismol over and over again. Slowing things down, overthinking, because that toxic Ace of Cups, when the Ace of Cups becomes toxic, it generates all sorts of fears about being vulnerable, about giving it, and what if they say no, and what if they, it doesn't even matter. It just needs to flow. They need to get it out of their system. What's on top? Knight of Swords. Look at the matching. This whole top row matches itself, right? Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Looks like some kind of karate move. Ha, 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 like that. It's unreal, like I did some kind of blocking move of Kung Fu Steve. It's right there. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. All going in the same direction. The energy is flowing. It's your person that's cock blocking it. And they're cock blocking it because when an Ace of Cups becomes toxic, right? It. Well, when an Ace of Cups becomes toxic, it does. This, it behaves the same way as a devil would. All right, it's a hidden devil. It, it creates illusions and fears, but they definitely want to talk. They probably show up as swords if they do. I believe with all these Knight of Swords here, two Knight of Swords tells me if it's the energy is flowing, they're going with it, but they are slowing it down a little bit. Why is this? Yeah, here. Well, look at this. Can you fucking believe this? A Five of Pentacles. Fives, a five over here, a five over here. It's not a match, but it's the same energy. It's winter. It's the same fucking energy. It's a winter energy. The knight, of, the knight of swords is there because they're miserable. Why are they rushing in to talk to you? Why do they feel like they need to? I'm not sure they understand these feelings. Or they wouldn't have kept them bottled up. I'm not sure they understand them. But they're, they're coming in because they want to come out from the cold. Just like what it says here. They want to come out from the cold. That's why they're coming in. I got two cards. It, it doesn't have another Five of Cups in the deck to give me. It gave me the Five of Pentacles, which it knows, the universe being it, that I would read it the same way. And it is. So the Knight of Swords is here because someone wants to come in from out of the cold and have a new beginning. The Knight of Swords is here because someone wants to come in from out of the cold and have a new beginning. It's in the energy and it's within them. Yet they're slowing it down, doing too much thinking. And in the process, that toxin gets stronger and stronger. They're still drinking still water. And it's, it, it, I always say about these runners, once they do it, once they come in and open up, they'll see it's not that big a deal. I always say it's like being on a, a, afraid to go on a roller coaster. Right? You're scared shitless. You're all nervous in line. Oh my God. You're pissing yourself. You're almost ready to run. And then you finally just go and do it. You get in. It's too late to back out. They got the seatbelt. The thing is moving up the first hill. And then it's all over with in 30 seconds. You know? And then when it's all done, you actually feel good that you did it. Even if it scared the crap out of you and you never want to do it again, you feel good that you did it. That's this energy. That's what this person just needs to figure out. But that toxic water, the stomach hurts too much to get up off the bed, metaphorically speaking. All right. So this Seven of Pentacles is important because it's here in their 3D energy too. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? A 
four of wands just tried to reveal itself you may have seen on camera that four of wands was crossing the seven of cups or seven of pentacles there very interesting they're getting it again it's just the same message they're getting in the way doing too much thinking not enough doing it's, but the point of this reading is that's becoming toxic for them. So who you? that's why they're showing up in swords. That's why they're showing up in three swords even. Right? They keep coming out that way. There's a, there's a whole why that's not here. Why, why was that cup allowed to stay and sit? Right? In nature, we, we could usually figure out why still water is there. Why it was allowed to become still. You know? In a lot of cases, what happens is it starts out as a, as a brook type thing and then there's like a landslide and something dams it up and it sits. So what's the landslide here? We know there was one or will be one. I think there was one. I think there's, there's, there's an implied tower over this whole reading. That not, I don't mean this one. I mean a tower around that three of cups. Or, or not three of cups, uh, ace of cups. Well, maybe three of cups. I don't know. Could be a third party. Uh, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why? The Hermit. Now, normally I'd say, this, again, I'm just going to say it, fuck it. This person is an old soul. All of, all of you are if you're part of this cycle. Okay? The problem is they're questioning it. They're stopping to question. Right? A lot of times the Seven of Pentacles is a farmer looking back over his, you know, what his work to see, you know, about the harvest and, oh, I've done a good job. This person's overthinking something that shouldn't be thought. It should be felt. They're just overthinking feelings. Okay? That's really what it boils down to. And it's, it's been their problem for a while. They've been cock-blocking the high priestess's flow of intuition for a long time. What's on top? The magician. The energy around them has changed. Your person hasn't. That's why the Ace of Cups has become toxic. Why is the magician here? The Seven of Wands. Again, the energy around your person has changed. That's why the Ace of Cups has become toxic. It's still water. They keep pushing back on the changes around them, on the energy changing. They keep pushing back. It has something to do with Four Wands because Four Wands wanted to reveal itself. Maybe it's a marriage. Maybe they want to keep things the way they were. Maybe your person is someone who doesn't like change. They're resistant to it. It doesn't matter. All of that is stupid bullshit. The universe doesn't care. The universe is just energy. The energy that's in the Ace of Cups needs to flow. If it doesn't flow, it becomes toxic. That's it. That, it doesn't matter what your person thinks or oh, I want to keep things the same. Fine. Keep things the same. Stay in, let's say they're married. Stay in your bad marriage. Fine. But the problem with that is you're, you're just going to fight all the time and lash out because it is a bad marriage in spite of what you say. And you've got that Ace of Cups there that's become toxic. And all of that toxin is going to give you a stomach ache. And we, and, and we all know we get a little grumpy when we don't feel good. Right? It is what it is. Imagine having a terrible stomach ache and hating your life at the same time. And knowing how to fix it, but you never did anything about it. So, you, so they're mad at themselves. And then, they're, then they lash out at what's around them. See? It's right there. It's right there. I mean, it is what it is. This person has the, the divine masculine, which is primarily the runners in this cycle, always had to learn to be vulnerable. Has to, the, the divine masculine's lesson is to learn that the water needs to flow. Emotion needs to flow. You need to give and you need to be able to receive. That's flow. Energy requires reciprocation to flow. So it has to, there has to be a flow. It's, yeah. They're just resistant to even the energy around them changing and they're slowing things down. It's not stopping them. They're just slow. We already know this is a reliable energy. They are showing up. What you're getting is a little bit more detail on what the universe means by they're showing up in three swords. They're showing up. The love within them for you is huge. It's Queen of Cups. It's huge. But it's become toxic. The connection hasn't. I had the sun crossing here. The connection is beautiful. The connection is this ball of energy in the middle. You two plug into it on either side. The love that you two have. The connection's nice. It's solid. In the soul, in the 5D, you two are together. You're married. You're frolicking. You're happily ever after. Fine. It's in the 3D. 
the love within your person, the runner, has become toxic. And, and that might show up in front of you as swords, which is why the cure for that is to filter it. And how do you filter the water? The only way you can drink still water is putting it through a good filter. What's the filter? You give, you well in, in this case here, not technically in the real world, but in this case here, you give some clean water. You give your flowing energy to it. Kind of give it a jump start, if you will. Meet swords with cups. All right? You're getting this information so you know who's showing up in front of you and you're not surprised. Don't be surprised. Understand that the love they feel for you might cause them to lash out, might cause some fights, might cause them to tell you they're not interested, might cause them to run away again. All of that could happen when it, when it becomes toxic within them. And it's only toxic because they didn't give it. That's the great irony here. And they're being pushed to give it. If you can get it to flow, it'll be fine to drink. Okay? I'll put it that way. Let's talk to the universe. Six of Pentacles. That's a weak card from the universe. Why? Why so weak? Why you, the universe usually gives me major arcana. It threw it here. Why, why are you giving me Six of Pentacles? What is this? Minor arcana justice, I call it. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this shit? Why are you giving me six of pentacles here? Huh? <laughs> oh, I love tarot. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you. I have hit the nail on the head here. If, the, if you think this reading isn't right, you're wrong. Because it just got backed up big time. I said, when, it, when I threw this card, I said they have to give. It's the universe saying they have to give. For there to be any happiness. It's everything I've been telling you, right? It becomes still water. It needs to flow. Crossed by the Ace of Cups, which is a picture of one flowing. Okay? Right there. The affecting energy around it, the message from the universe is everything Steve said. Everything I already said. Right there in one card. And there's a picture. Finally, we get a picture. I say, I've been saying this whole reading. On most decks, there's water flowing. And blah, 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 blah. There it is. It's right there. Universe is saying this has to happen. If it doesn't happen, this happens. What's on top? Two swords. They don't know what to do. That's very clear. Uh, universe just all of a sudden turned into Captain Obvious. Motherfucker. You know, they, they don't. The, the two of swords, they don't know what to do. But they do. But they don't. But they do. But they don't. You see what I'm saying? This is two ace of swords. They're not crossed. There's a clear direction to take. They know exactly what they need to do. The Knight of Swords always has a specific message. It's just going to come out wrong. Okay? They're, they, they don't know how to approach properly is what this is saying. Right? She, it, it doesn't it look like a girl right here who doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It, does it, if you walked up to her and said, what's going on? Why is your shirt off? She'd first tell you. You know, well, I left it inside. I didn't think anybody was here. Okay. So what's wrong? What she would probably say is, I don't know what to do about, you know, whatever. She'd look for advice. she looked like she needs advice, right? They don't know what to do. Because that, that toxic still water within them, while it's not flowing, causes, it, it's devil energy. It causes fears. It causes overthinking, right? It causes a, it, it causes a lot of pain. Metaphorically, stomach pain, really. Why is the two of swords here? Nine swords. See what I'm saying? Nine swords. This is, nines, first of all, the good news, nines are the end in tarot. That, yeah, okay, fine. Right? We're, we're coming, we're, and this is read with the uh, Ace of Wands, which tells me a decision is going to be made. Mo most of you are going to hear from your person. You're getting this reading to find out why they behave the way they do when you do hear from them. Okay? This nine of swords pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey and then plopping back down in bed. That's your person, male or female. That's what they wear to bed. They're worried about all of this. All of this. this is, these are fears right here. Nonsense. It's nonsense too. It's a false sword of Damocles. The for, sword of Damocles is held up by a hair and it's a sword that might fall on your head. The, this, this right here is bolted to the ceiling, right to the rafters. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Four big bolts holding it in. There's nothing for this person to worry about. The universe is saying just please let this water flow. It put a sun here, crossing here. 
it put this flowing ace of cups here. If we want the sun, we have to open up. It's what I've been telling you. This, their water needs to flow. It can't stay still water much longer. It's already resulting in towers for your person. They already may be lashing out. I see it here off of this. They already may be lashing out at the people around them. Again, like I said, imagine you don't love who you're with and then you love somebody else with huge Queen of Cups love, but, you, but you're not giving it. Imagine the, the, the tension you feel and how you will lash out on the other side. And it's causing things, it's affecting their life, it's affecting their work, it's affecting everything. And you may not be aware of this. Why? Because the High Priestess is here. And energy is always in layers and one of the energies of the High Priestess is someone keeping their cards close to the vest. And yes, it is vest. So for people that say chest, please stop, please stop that. It's an old saying from poker, playing cards back in the, uh, you know, the old, the, the, the old wild west, right? You keep it, you know, they all wore vests. You keep your card close to the vest. Anyway, your person's doing that. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot going on underneath the surface. You may not know about this. They, they, they aren't going to broadcast out, I behaved an asshole today and lashed out at all my friends. They aren't going to tweet that or something. Nobody's going to do that. There's towers happening, but a tower will happen. A big tower, a big breakdown will happen if they don't do something about this energy. Let's shuffle. Let's get our final final on this. And then I'm going to go pull some wicked voodoo. I'm going to do an extended from hell which are very rare for me these days. They, 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 they take a lot out of me. But I am going to do an extended from hell. And extended from hell is where I go underneath all this energy. I go, I go down first, all the way to the bottom, and then I work my way to the top. That's where you get the truth. All right? We're going to see what that toxic water is doing to your person. A bit like the doctor taking an x-ray or some sort of scan on you where they can look inside you. Mm. We'll see what's going on here. Ah, uh, the tower. Tell me about it. What's the final final on this? Why is the tower here? It's, it's here for a lot of reasons. We'll be pulling on that. You can bet on it. The tower is here because somebody's a little candy ass, pussy, chicken shit, however you want to phrase it. It's the four of pentacles. Somebody's holding on. It's still water. Somebody's holding on to their pentacles and not letting the water flow. And it's causing towers in their life. This is the affecting energy. Your person is living in something in rocks falling on their head right here. That's, that's a picture of your person's environment right now. They don't even have a shirt to put on. Not even a bra, male or female. Right there. That's what's happening. And it's because of this. This is fear. This is holding on to something that, that doesn't contain anything for them. The toxins building up because that Ace of Cups is toxic. It's plain and simple. What's on top? Come on. Here we go. The third slowest energy in the tarot. It's fine. Slowly. It's saying the same fucking thing that this is saying. Slowly but surely, this person learning their lesson. They're learning not to stick their hand in the meat grinder because it's called a fucking meat grinder. Right here is the Six of Swords. Choppy water moving on from it. These towers will, will make this person move. It will make them come in. They have to. The universe is saying unless there's happiness here. They won't get happiness here with the sun that was crossing here unless with the Ace of Cups that's crossing here, a flowing Ace of Cups, that that energy is allowed to flow. Why is the Six of Swords here? We'll pull it together. I'm going to take a peek. You're not even going to believe it. What card do you think this is? I took a sneak peek, so I know. I'm not an amazing Kreskin. All right? I'm, I'm being honest with you. What card do you think is here? Take a wild fucking guess. It's a tower on top of a tower. What else could it be? Mm -hmm. Again, they're moving too slow. While they're moving slow, they're moving a well. Okay, let's slow down here. I'll slow down. The tower is telling me why the Six of Swords is here. It's just backing up what I said. They're learning their lesson slowly but surely here. That they, they it, it takes people who, who are used to pentacles. People live their life by pentacles. They believe in the things that money can buy, for example, as the great Jackson Brown once sang, right? And love, true love, could have been a contender. Boy, it's, boy, it could have. It was in the beginning. For everyone, it is. Babies don't know about pentacles and all that kind of stuff. They don't. They, they just, they're just made of the little bundles of love, for God's sake. It's, it's us who fuck them up, mostly. Unless they're born with some kind of mental defect, it's us that, bu that fuck them up. You know, and the way we raise them and all that kind of shit. At the, at the end of the day, 
These towers are teaching your personal lesson. It's almost the same message I gave you at the end of the, uh, the full moon reading, except this person's learning the hard way, except we're finding out why they're learning lessons. It's not just about the three swords that, that was here in the moon reading. We're learning why that three swords was here. It's here because the love that they have for you has become toxic because they're not giving it. It's backfiring on them. And not only that, the further they try to run from you, like I always tell you, the stronger these connections get, these deep soul twin flame connections. So it's getting worse and worse. There's no devil on the table. There doesn't have to be. The devil is how we began the reading. That Ace of Cups was the devil. It becomes an angel if it's allowed to flow. And this right here tells me that slowly but surely this person's coming towards you. That's why they show up fast. This is why they show up fast. This proves they show up fast. I said when I first threw this, they, they might show up quickly. It depends on the cards we throw, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that tower there tells me they're showing up to come in from out of the cold, but only after they realize that it's because they haven't told you how they feel. That's why they're in the cold. Some, for, your person's doing... Uh, all, and the, all, all they have to do to realize that is let the intuition flow. That's it. But they're cock blocking it. And we know that from the Seven of Pentacles crossing here and here. Okay? Or crossing here and the one that's sitting here, I should say. The one at the base card. So, that's it. Let's pull three cards from the universe. That's where we're at. Somebody, you, you, you can expect to hear from somebody, I would imagine. But this is, this is not sugarcoating by saying that. Because I'll be honest with you. Who you're hearing from is somebody very where the love for you has become toxic within them. All bets are off, and it always is. When someone shows up under the Three of Swords, I always tell you, all bets are off. It can go either way. Now we're finding out why. We're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into this. Oh, man, you should definitely pair this reading with the moon reading from yesterday. No fucking lie. But this is communication here, but it's also someone learning some wicked lessons. Pay attention to what I said about the Ace of Cups. All right? Don't be so excited when you see it if you throw cards. Take a look at the cards around it. Take a look at the story you're telling about, about those cards. Right? Even You don't have to be an energy reader even if you just pull cards. You know, And you go by the meaning of the card. Take a look at what's around it. Is it a toxic Ace of Cups or is it an Ace of Cups that's flowing? An Ace of Cups that's flowing means you got new love coming your way. Somebody loves you and they're about to tell you. All that kind of great stuff that we all love to hear when we see it. But if it's stifled, now you know you don't drink still water. Still water is toxic. And it's become massive in your person. So much so the universe didn't even need to give us a devil. Didn't even bother. Like, nope, don't need it. All these cards on the table, not a single fucking devil. Yet, nothing but toxin around. All right? And a warning from, and we see the toxin here in the final outcome. Two towers. All right. Three cards from the universe. What it wants to tell you, we'll pull from the bottom. Knight of Wands, Death, still no devil. Uh, and the Five of Pentacles. Again, the Five of Pentacles, this winter right here. Okay? Knight of Wands we haven't seen yet. Death we haven't seen yet. Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is killing. Someone needs to take. This is that. This is that thirsty person that walked up to you while you're holding a jug of water, right? Except if they walked up to your person, they will, you might give them the jug of water to drink because you'd be like, oh my God, are you okay? Right? Because you're the Empress. You got empathy. Well, your person. They were, apparently they went to the wrong person. Your person was holding that jug of water, that ace of cups, and they didn't give it to them. And look what happened. Mm -hmm. It got toxic. It got whatever. This person here, if they want to, the universe is saying they need to get free of an energy that's around them. There's some sort of energy around them that's toxic, that's influencing them. It, much it, there, it's it, it's internal, yes, but there's also an external energy. There's something. Okay, And I want to point something out that I noticed yesterday. I went to my channel, and I, I sometimes look around. I, I, very, I very rarely do that, but when I do, I sometimes look around. Um, I did a reading for Leo this past week. It was about someone trying to get free of a toxic situation that doesn't want to let them go. It was a very strong energy. I just want to point out that the Leo reading that I did and the full moon reading from, from yesterday, the full moon in Capricorn, have, are exactly the same length. One hour, 
five minutes and five seconds, I believe. Something along those lines. To the second, they are exactly the same length. I'm not saying that that all signs reading from yesterday was about Leo. I'm saying all of you might want to check out that Leo reading. That's a coincidence. But there's no such thing as coincidences. I said, that's odd. And I calculated the odds of that happening, and it's pretty massive. <laughs> uh, it's pretty crazy because I, I had to hit it just right. I had to say everything at just the right time and hit the stop button at just the right moment. And my encoder software, which changes the, um, the way it encodes each time based on the length of the video, had to also encode at exactly the same rate. There's a lot of variables in play. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's, it's, on, it's on par with winning about 1500 on a scratcher ticket for the lottery. That said, your person needs to come in and give this or they're going to or they're going to be stuck in the cold but there's an energy around them they have to break free of they have to break free of it something that stifles something that tells them or has taught them that love is is bad you want to make sure that you have the the pentacles one of the, it I'll repeat one of the messages I said in the Leo reading I will repeat it your signs don't matter you're all part of a cycle you're all tied together and it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter as we go along through this cycle. I said, for your person, they've been taught on some level that cups never trump pentacles. Okay? Well, they need to, the universe is saying they need to break free of that. It's killing them. And this is what's happening. They are breaking free of it. With two towers here, eventually, that's why the universe keeps saying eventually... Right. What what the fuck? What, what have I done? Oh, I reshuffled. Never mind. I had a Knight of Pentacles that was crossing the High Priestess. Anyway, and I've got this slow energy here. This slow Six of Swords. <laughs> I forgot I reshuffled for these. At the end of the day, your person is learning. These towers that they keep falling in are teaching them. So, but they're, having, they're, it, they're very slow to put the pieces together. It's the love for you inside them that's become toxic. And that's what we're going to pull on in the Extended. We're also going to pull on this death card and this not crossed by this nine of pentacles energy as well. And, and I'm just going to fly in. I'm going to do a what the fuck reading. What the fuck is going on? I'm going to come in from underneath everything. Way down at the bottom first and then come up to the top. You get a clearer picture of what's going on here with this. Because with a reading that, has two, that ends with two towers. Alright? And... You know, there's and anyone who's slow to learn, most people could figure out real quick why they're grumpy or why they feel bad or why they're unhappy, and then they would do something about it. But this is funny because this nine of pentacles crossing this death card tells me your person can't figure it out because it goes against what they've been taught or what life has taught them. It's very strange, but it does. It goes against some other energy, right? And that energy is pretty powerful. It's represented by King of Cups, which is a pretty powerful card. So something is, and their energy, how they feel for you, is represented by Queen of Cups, right? The energy flow is Queen of Cups. The energy within them is still water, that toxic Ace of Cups. This King of Cups energy is encouraging them not, is encouraging this Queen not to give the full cup, all right? Whatever it is, it could be something within them, things they've learned as they've gone through life, or it could be externally, the people around them are just fucking assholes. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm going to do some wicked voodoo. All right? I'm going to keep it informal. I'm just going to pull a bunch of side reads. We'll see what we can find out. And I will also get some more information on how they're approaching you. We, we learned a lot yesterday about that in the moon reading. But with two towers here, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll find out. Anyway, that's it. If you want the extended, I do. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. All right. If you, I hope this reading was helpful. These random readings are very important. They're usually pretty powerful. So if I help one person today with this reading, help them understand why the Ace of Cups isn't always the godsend it is when it hits the table <laughs> for a lot of people. You know, it's not always good. It's not. If it sits too long, it, it, it gets icky. <laughs> Uh, like skunky beer, really. You know, that, that's, that's terrible. Ugh, like that. All right. I hope this reading was helpful. If I help one person today, I've done my job, karmically speaking. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. Good luck.